Okay, so I'm starting up again. I was guessing this was, gee, the Klamath River. <laughs> uh, I'm just going, huh? <laughs> okay, to the left here is Crater Lake Parkway. That's the closest thing to a freeway in town that we have. The closest thing to a need for a freeway. There's your KFC. <laughs> and here's a church. Hey, hey, hey. So, you know, it's in general, it's a quiet town. People are pleasant, and you can get what you need to get here. Dairy Queen. <laughs> but there are a lot of small places that I'm sure that have Dairy Queens and things like that. There's a Home Depot a few miles up. In fact, I'm just going to go all the way up there. Uh, I might even go around to Walmart. A lot of these little coffee shops, like the Human Bean over there, uh, are in this area. Um, let's see, farm insurance. You know, you're not you're not stranded on an island somewhere. There's an antique shop there. I never checked that out. Um, salon, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about salon. I just go to Supercuts to get my hair chopped off. Here is a very good uh, book, basin book trader, and, and they, they pretty much follow the model of the Book Buyers Club Mountain View, uh, as far as I can see, and no new books in Palo Alto. Black Bear Diner keeps popping up around places in Northern California, but I've never gone in there. Don't know, I just don't know why. It might be a real treat. I just haven't tried it. Uh, a lot of time I'm driving up, I'm just getting fast food, and by the time I'm here, it's a little more prudent just to eat at home. Okay, now here is something you might find a little odd. A gas station at Albertsons, at least for people that are from maybe in the L.A. area, they might have it, but certainly not in Northern California when I was living in L.A. There's the Blockbuster now, so now that I know you have to go a little bit further, but the, the, that Jefferson Mall that I was talking about, Little Caesars over there, um, the Jefferson Mall I was talking about back there, pretty much, um, for whatever reason, it was kind of like an indoor, you can go indoors there, they have some outdoor entrances, and then you can exit some of the, um, even Safeway from... I think from the inside, I'm not sure. I know I've been inside that mall, I just don't remember how I got there. And there are some inside malls, but a lot of them are, are vacant. I just don't know why it hasn't seemed to be very popular. I mean, it seems to be a very busy intersection. It could be because Walmart's here. and they've... But uh, it seems to me, in articles that I've read, it hasn't really... It's, it's, it's been shorter, it's been lived, it's lived short to its expectations. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to. I, I certainly don't want to make things worse for them. To me, it seems like it's, it's it'd be a good, decent place to go to a mall if there was one. Maybe it just it's a variety of shops. Who knows? Okay, this is the Big R. I never heard of the Big R until I lived here. But basically, this is a very nice place to go get your farming supplies. There, are, uh, there's a large farming community. Uh, mostly south to Klamath Falls, just north of Klamath Falls. I mean, basically, there's the mountains and the, there's the lake until you get up to Chiloquin. So you can't do much farming up there. But south Klamath Falls, there, there are some pretty large, decently sized farms here. There usually is in the local um, ads. Uh, farms for sale, ranches for sale, etc., etc., etc. Okay, let's just see. Here's Home Depot. And I really don't need to go to Home Depot. I'm just going here to... You know, I don't know what that greenhouse is. I can't, <laughs> can't see it from here. Pacific Crest something or other. Okay, I got a green arrow. Um, Federal Credit Union. Okay, a little... Oh, <laughs> a bank! <laughs> Whoa, I never guessed that's a bank. Oh, here's a nice little front panoramic view. Homes on, homes on the hillside, if I can keep my speech correct. I've got a little bit of a slur when I haven't had anything, any coffee to drink in the morning. Yeah, go around here. You can see uh, Home Depot is decently busy, but it isn't a madhouse. It's a very nice, pleasant place to go in. You can get what you need. And for the most part, it's pretty well supplied. Uh, now, there have been times when we had to order tiles or things. I mean, there's just, those are custom things. You might even have to order anyway, even if you... Yeah, in fact, we did order some tile from um, 
from when we were in, uh, <laughs> from the one in East Palo Alto that was recently built when Emporium, I think, was it. Emporium was there. Uh, we still had to order tile. So I, I, I don't really, I don't think there's any shortage of building and home improvement supplies here. Okay, I'm not sure why this little bog's here, but it gives me choices. Um, the one good thing about Klon Falls is that you, the traffic isn't heavy enough, and there are enough alternative choices as to which direction you want to drive that you, you have a little comfort if you happen to know it's going it, to, in fact, I haven't really had this in mind, but let's just say if, you know, one of these, if, I'm now I'm going to go to Crater Lake Parkway, so now if, um, if I were to know that, you know, for some odd reason, Main Street would be busy, I could always go up the Crater Lake Parkway and I can get back that way, and that's not such a big deal. It's just a second way for me to get home. The streets are kind of built uh, with a... It's, it's like a grid, but it's kind of... Um, I guess they really wanted to face north and, and uh, <laughs> north, south, east, and west exactly, but the... But the direction, the, the the geography of the place isn't geared towards going north, south, east, and west. So the, the end result is we've, we've got like a uh, the grids are like in diamond shape if you were to look at it on a map. And so I could make a right here, go up the Crater Lake Parkway, and then a left, and I'll be going back on the right side of the diamond, facing this way instead of the left side of the diamond, which I came down on. Here's some more industrial type stuff. Need, you know, whatever things for rental. It seems like the infrastructure is here. And just just ready. Oil can Henry's. I haven't seen that since I've been in Miami. <laughs> I've seen that in Miami. I haven't seen that anywhere else. It's, it's just a base place to get your uh, oil changed. Live adult entertainment. Like anybody cares. Okay. Um, tractors. You can rent tractors here. All this is because we got the farming industry near us too, but if I wanted to go and just mow down my backyard and <laughs> try to do something cool, I don't think I'd have any shortage of getting necessary equipment, and I wouldn't have to buy it. Comet Falls is also known for its, um, its Christian community. Um, I'm not particularly religious. In fact, I don't know if I pointed out, but as I left my house across the street, there is a Quaker congregation, and they have the motto on the side of the building that says, um, torture is a morality issue. Okay, here's, here's this one of two Taco Bells that I know of in town. There might be a third one up near the college, and I'll, since I'm going up the parkway, you know what, I'm going to take that back. i got to go by the Walmart. <laughs> Then I'll go back up the parkway. So I'm going to do a little bit of re-driving here. I probably should have gone down to the Walmart, then over to the Home Depot, and then back this way. But anyway, you get to see it a second look at it. And some things are just uniquely charming in their own way. Although I don't know if I'd ever want to have a sea green colored home myself. I think that's actually a business. Over here is the antique shop on the left again. Laundromats are no shorter to those. Lou's Barbershop. Here's our human being again, drive through coffee. I don't know why anybody in this... I, I would expect to see more of those around San Jose or Los Angeles and not up here. Why? Because I think people are more of a, in a rush to get places. And, and it's not just an overgeneralization. There's another church. There's a grocery outlet. I've... Okay, um, just the, you know, the speed limit is just a little bit slower here. Now, about pumping gas in Oregon. If you ever go up to Oregon, it's illegal to pump your own gas. And here is the Crater Lake Parkway that I'm going to bypass for now. Giggler's Health Food next to the Cemetery Memorials. If that ever made the Tonight Show, there's a little bog. There's plenty of birding in this area. Plenty of birds to be able to see. 
um, especially near the lake. You got to watch out in the summertime near the lake, though. There are a ton of mosquitoes, even at night. Went down there. <laughs> One, we're the only people near the lake on Fourth of July. Wondering, is this the right night for fireworks? And we almost got eaten alive by mosquitoes. But yes, it was, as far as I know. People were a little further off on the street. If you're right on the water, you're going to get bit. Another look at the um, event center here. Not big enough for a ballpark, unfortunately. I see a lot of potential uh, in this town. There's a there's a basic grid structure where they could it, this could grow up, grow to be a bigger urban area with you know loop route freeways going around here and take care of things fine. The infrastructure is more than adequate for what we have now. There's the Lucky Panda Chinese restaurant. They've never been there before. Under new ownerships, so wish them luck. Maybe I'll try it. And Radio Shack. <laughs> Denny's. Yes, yes, this is the middle of nowhere. Okay. Back to Jefferson Mall, got our Arby's, got our Wells Fargo, Sterling Bank, which I have. God, yeah, those are Chase, Subway. Ross, dress for less. Office Depot. The Office Depot is rather small. I wouldn't imagine buying bulks and bulks of paper there, but I could be wrong. The Comfort Inn used to be the big thing. Now I'm getting to Washburn, Burger King. There's a Carl's Jr. up at the Fred Meyer that is up Washburn here. I'm not going to go up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back up Washburn because... Um, I don't need to go all the way back up there just to go on Crater Lake Parkway so you can see pretty much a redundant picture of what will show after this Washburn connects to Crater Lake Parkway on the right. There's Carlson's, there's a gas station, there's a Bymart. That's like a co-op where um, you have to be a member to buy things there. You get to, you could go in there once or twice to shop. There's a Rite Aid. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see things until you find them. Now, traffic, pleasant day. I'd say, what is the weather today? It's a pleasant day out. In fact, I guess for this short time of year, this is the fall time. Um, not not bad, not too bad to be up here. Now, the weather in Klamath Falls is uh, a larger extreme of what I get in the Bay Area. So, let me give you an example. The Bay Area, what temperature temperature ranges in the Bay Area? might range, say, in the winter, 40 to 60, mid-40s to mid-60s, you know, down where I live in your mountain view. We're here, yes, it'll get up to 60, but it'll drop down to maybe 20 at night. No, winter, jeez, no, winter can get down to as low as 10. At, at some points at night, this could be the closest, the coldest place in the country. I hear some industrial areas that just obviously aren't being used. We've got staples here. So as the economies change, the buildings haven't gone down. Here's a place that just does air gas. I don't know what this is. Sky Lakes Home Health. Whatever that is. I don't know. U-Haul. Then we got our car dealerships. I guess this is almost like Maybe what Central Boulevard is in Glendale, vaguely. <laughs> and Walmart is our Galleria. <laughs> Subaru, Chevrolet, Ford, they're all, they're all represented here. Okay, maybe... What the heck's a Domino's Pizza doing over there? I never noticed that. AT&T Shop, AutoZone... Stop for Jack in the Box. Okay, I'll stop. Start quickly. 